Okay, let's assemble the data sampler uh, demonstration and uh, start with a stick it motherboard. And doesn't do anything by itself. It needs to have an FPGA board inserted. In this case, it's a Zula 2 LX25. Then there's the star of the show, which is the analog to digital converter board. Goes into P mod slot number two. Then we need the VGA board, which will develop the sinusoidal signals for us to sample. Now we need to connect the uh, pins of the the RGB pins of the VGA connector of the VGA board to the ADC board inputs and I inserted some uh, pins to make that easy. We use these jumper leads. That's the red signal right there. And we'll attach that to analog to digital converter board input number one. Then we'll take the VGA green component and we'll attach that to channel number one. And finally, we'll take the blue signal. And we'll attach that to analog channel two. So we've got red going to analog channel zero, green going to analog channel one, and blue going to analog channel two. Now we'll just hook the unit up to the USB port and you can see the green LED is on. The link has been established. What we have to do now is download the bitstream to the FPGA and then start the Python program going that will sample the uh, sinusoidal signals that come out of here and go into here. Start off by bringing up GXS load and we will take the data sampler bitstream and we're going to load that into the FPGA as follows. Click the load download is complete. Now the FPGA is configured to do some data sampling. Next thing we do is just start up the Python program. And here is our data sample, our waveforms. Let me get this on the screen completely. And this is just the matplotlib uh, window that's provided by Python. Uh, we can zoom in on that. And you can see we've got the red signal, which is around a 900 kilohertz sinusoid. The red has lower resolution on its, on its uh, digital analog converter. It's only got a 4-bit DAC, so uh, you can see the, the uh, changes in the signal are pretty abrupt. And then we have the green signal, which is about 1800 hertz or so. And it's got a 5-bit DAC, so the you don't see as large of jaggies in this as you do with the red. And then there's the blue component, and that's at about 2700 hertz. And uh, again, it's got a 5-bit DAC, so uh, it doesn't have the large jaggies that we see in the red. And that's uh, pretty much all there is involved in the demonstration of the data sampler.